Hi, and thanks so much for joining me and Merry Christmas to you. I know today is not my typical posting day, but I thought a lot of you liked to relax like me after gifts are open and you want a little downtime. So I thought I'd post today. Um, so I hope that's okay for this week and I hope you're having a great day. If I'm doing anything exciting, I will post on Instagram stories if you'd like to follow me there. Let's go ahead and get into December haul and favorites. I actually thought I have more in December because of Black Friday, uh, Cyber Monday, and I think there was something called Green Monday that came along, but I actually practiced quite a bit of restraint and only purchased things that I've either had my eye on for a really long time or things that I knew that I would use. Starting with an item I've been looking at for a long time and I don't know why I never picked it up. For two years probably I've looked at it, maybe even longer, but I used the Sephora $25 off $75 promotion uh, and I picked up Indian Rose by Tom Ford. I was so excited to use it. I did not even take a picture of it before I used it. I like to take a picture of products when they're new, but I just wanted to try it. So um, Indian Rose, really beautiful. If you were looking at it, here it is. And it's worth the hype. I think it's one of their best selling colors. So chances are you have already tried it, but I love it and so happy I picked that up. Speaking of something I thought I needed, I thought I needed a red lip because I don't have a true red lipstick color. Um, so I looked and looked and I thought I'd start with NARS because I love their audacious um, formula, which uh, people don't really talk about anymore. But I remember when it came out, I wanted to buy all of the colors because I loved how it just stayed in place. They didn't have a red that I loved. Um, and then I looked at Cruella, their pencil, really nice. But then I saw this color and it is in Star Woman by NARS, of course, in the Power Matte Lip Pigment. If you have seen this in person, you have seen how beautiful this red is and I'm wearing it right now. Okay, <laughs> this is one reason I think I don't wear red. It's so high maintenance. If you're really good at wearing red lipstick, then that's great, because I'm not. I think I spent an extra half an hour trying to clean up around the application of this, because once I had it on, it ended up transferring everywhere. Like it was over here, it was over here, and then I have to take my makeup off, redo the concealer, repowder, blah, blah, blah. You get it, big mess. Um, also it ends up on like the light switches and the wall it just ended up everywhere and look it kind of i don't know if you can see but it kind of bleeds into the fine lines although it wasn't doing that here i used the guerlain primer um, before it so i think that helps but it just is so high maintenance so if i can figure out a way to get this to like stop moving around i would love it but it's still like it's red i mean i'm not used to red lipstick so i just have to get used to it I love the color. I'm not loving how it wears though. So I let you know, or if you have tips for me on how to get that from stopping going everywhere, then that would help. Also, I've got to check my teeth like every two minutes. I had to actually floss between my teeth again because it was in between my teeth somehow. So I don't know how that happened, but red lipstick everywhere. <laughs> but I love, I love, love the color. So this next item falls into the category of things I know that I love. So the By Terry site had a deal on three of their lip glosses um, in a little set and then they had an even deeper discount on it. So I think it was under $40 for three full-sized lip glosses. And I know one of you at least went out and purchased it because I posted on Instagram stories. And it's there's number nine, number two, and number six. And number nine, Bitten Splash, that is my go-to. And I was, I thought they were going to be minis, but I was pleasantly surprised at how um, large the sizes were on this. So I'm going to swatch them for you. So we got number nine, Bitten Splash. That's this one right here. Then there's number two. I can't remember the name of it, but I'll put it below. I've been using this quite a bit on top of um, other lipsticks just to give it a little bit more of a shimmer because there's a bit of shimmer in there. Don't know if that comes across kind of reminds me of um cotton candy and it looks like there's a little bit of like warm gold shimmer in there but it's very uh it's like an elegant shimmer it's not glittery at all maybe you can see in the tube a little bit really pretty and then there's number six <laughs> it's like a nice peachy pink color right here so if you picked that up that was a really really good deal i love all three of these um, especially knowing that this is my favorite anyway and something I repurchased, but it gave me a chance to try a couple of the other ones too. Not sure why I focused on lips so much, but I picked up three more lip products by, and I'm sure you can guess by the packaging, Pat McGrath, already half of this uh, sequence has ended up on the floor, so I don't love that about the packaging. But I picked up 
three of her mini lip sticks. And I like minis because I don't ever use the whole thing. Um, and this is in Skin Show Trio, the mini matte trance ones. And after looking at the colors, I'm not actually quite sure why I bought this because they look like everything else I have. So we've got um, Omi, O-M-I, right there. And it, it looks a little bit cool toned for me, like not, I don't know if I would really pick that. If it were a single, I would think that was too cool toned for me. We also have Flash, Flesh, Flesh, Flesh 3 right there. Yeah, that reminds me of like a 90s kind of like a rosy brownish color. And then we've got this 1995 lipstick. Also looking a bit cool. So I haven't tried these on yet, but also now that I look at them, if I saw them in the store, I probably wouldn't have picked them up. I think the colors looked different online to me. They look really nice. They just look like things I already have. So that is one reason I wouldn't pick them up, but I know I like this formula. So we'll see how much I use them. But always fun to kind of try some new um, colors, although those aren't new, but I haven't tried that exact color. Clay de Poe, the Broad Spectrum SPF 25 in Honey, which uh, is where I discovered this next product I'm gonna talk about. Love this, by the way. Um, I just had a recent video on that, how I use that on my face. I also picked up the Radiant Corrector for Eyes. This is the one that I was really curious to try because they claimed no creasing and so I tested it out. So I have a demo and a wear test if you wanted to see that. I posted that recently. So um, I am loving this and thank you for the questions. Great question about if I tried this without setting it with powder. No, I had not. So I told, there were a couple of you who asked. So I told you I would try it the next day, which I did. So what I did is I applied it on the left side with no powder and then the right side with powder and kind of just compared them throughout the day and they both worked really beautifully so they just had a different finish to them the one without powder had a really skin like finish and the one with powder had a little bit of a powdery type finish that was more consistent with my face so if you don't powder your face i think you could definitely get away with not powdering this either um, but if you do powder your face it, there will just be a slight difference in how it looks because you have powder on part of your face and not powdered right under your eyes um, but I did like it. I think it looked really great. And if I could wear no powder, I would do that and just not powder at all. In fact, I had another great tip from one of you where you just set it with the MAC setting spray. So I might try that too, because I really love the look of no powder, but I just, I have to powder. Or if that spray works, then I'll go with that. I picked up some staples, which are the Even Up SPF 50, the Bronzing Perfector by Color Science, and then also the Total Eye 3 in 1 Renewal Therapy by Color Science. So I also got this in the box, which must have been part of a promotion because I didn't actually order this. I think it just came because of however much you spend. But it came with a broad spectrum SPF 50 in medium, which is on the light side for me, but right now I think I probably could use it in the middle. And then the whipped mineral sunscreen uv protector this one has 30 spf in it and um i mean any spf is great but i would choose even up over that but this is nice maybe for someone else in my family who wants to use sunscreen but i'll try it another thing i picked up were the shiseido facial cotton squares rectangles they are really rectangles aren't they um but i was also happy to learn that clay de po makes a fancier version of this where they actually have them coated in silk and uh, what I've learned is that they do not absorb as much product meaning that you won't use as much product so you get the most out of your product by using the clay de po ones and actually um, I made a connection with Bobby at the counter at clay de po and she is the one who helped me pick out my color and then also for some reason I told her I have a YouTube channel I don't normally do that actually I'm really bad at marketing myself and I kind of um, um, like shy about telling people that I don't know it's weird so I don't talk to a lot of makeup type people about the fact that I have a YouTube channel but I do want to tell her that I was gonna um, review this and I think that's how we got on the topic that I wanted to review the new um, eye product and um, do a little demo and so I ended up talking to her about the YouTube channel anyway she said oh that's so great I'm gonna get them to send you some stuff so she pulled some strings and got them to send me quite a bit of the skincare and there's a lot of skincare in this line and I'm really happy I have the opportunity to try it and actually let me insert a 
picture here of all the stuff and you can see all the things I get to try. Because the price point is quite high on individual items, yeah, their price point's quite high. So for me to try all of these things would be um, near to impossible to try every single item. Um, if you look at the price of every single item, it would be quite an investment, especially if I didn't love everything. So this way I get to try some of those things and find out really what I like. But I already know I love the eye contour cream. I think that's what it's called. The one that I've been using under the um, under eye, I'll list that below. But I do have a chance to use the items and I will follow up with you and let you know what I loved uh, in the skincare so I can recommend some of those things to you because I know it's difficult to try some of these things out at the price point that they're at and then um, disappointing if they don't work. So I will let you know what I think of some of the items that I try. And I have been working on getting that fashion favorite video ready for you. Um, but it's like every, I still use these items. So when I want to go to film some of the stuff as a dry cleaner, so I really need to time it so they're all here at the same time. Because like I said, it's like a working wardrobe and I actually use the items and sometimes when I'm ready to film it, some of the stuff is at the dry cleaner and not here. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple that I've got this month that I'm really happy to be using, but I will do a full video on that um, probably in the next couple of weeks. The first one is this scarf by Burberry and it was a gift from my parents last year for Christmas and I love it because I don't live in a really freezing kind of climate so it's nice and thin like lightweight and it's more um, versatile in terms of the seasons you can use it and I believe it's still wool but um, as you can see it's very lightweight so definitely spring, fall and winter and depending on where you live even summer, but I think this is great. It really just elevates an outfit and pulls everything together. Um, I think it looks great with t-shirt and jeans. I think it looks great with all black. Actually, I've worn that quite a bit all black and then I'll just put this on. Um, and like I said, denim, I think it really looks, I think I say everything looks good with denim dye. So if you have something really simple and you just wanna add a little something, a classic scarf like this really doesn't and it's really easy to wear. Um, another thing that I love, for this time of the year is this coat that I've had. So this is a year old and I love it. So if I have something for a year and I wear it over and over, then I know that is something that I really am happy to have in my wardrobe. So thanks mom and dad for this. I still love it a lot. And I will for many years because this is a timeless piece. So I actually keep this since it is prone to um, moths wanting to eat it. I do keep it in a, in a like a plastic container um, that is airtight so moths can't get to it. <laughs> then this other item is by J. Crew, and it's this coat. It's a nice shade. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. And it's like a cocoon shape. I'll have to wear it for you because I know you can't see the whole thing here, but I've had it, like I said, for a few years now. And my sister bought it first and then I thought, oh, I like that coat. I need it. I'm so glad I have it. You know, what's really great for is traveling on the airplane because it's not restrictive, but it's still tailored. So it's great for once you get to your location um, in terms of pulling your outfit together, whether it's again, denim or something dressier. And even with like Lululemon, that kind of thing with a, um, like a beanie on, I think looks really cute with. So I will show you what this looks like on, but I'm really um, glad I have that. It's a very much a staple in my wardrobe, especially in these cooler months. It's one of those time tested type of items that I've worn over and over and over and has held up really well. Um, and I do dry clean it every time I wear it on the airplane because germs but it <laughs> withstands dry cleaning quite well as well so i'll see if there is this coat still available at j crew if not i'll find something similar to it in terms of the shape but i love how i can put bulkier sweaters under it and i meant to tell you i got this in size six um i range from like a two to four to a six depends on the brand and also sometimes even bigger depending on how i want something to fit but a six is great, um, and sometimes I have to think about my arms. My arms are quite long, so um, it, sometimes the sleeves aren't long enough. But I noticed that the more expensive a brand is, the longer the sleeves tend to be, so uh, yeah. Let me just check my teeth one last time. Okay, not bad. <laughs> So Merry Christmas to you again. I hope you and your families are having a great day. And to my family around the country and around the world, love you. I will FaceTime you later. And if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.
Another thing I picked up, a go-to was the Shiseido Facial Cotton. Uh, cotton, 